All right, we're getting October 6th video rendered. It's time. Recap. I think I'm just going to take it easy today because I was trying to do some stuff in Blender and WASDing around um, with the camera. And for the first time in quite some time, uh, I had the handshakes. So it was just like this, like, nah, sort of thing. So if I just hold it here, maybe it'll. Yeah, see those little micro shakes. All right, let's go over the mouse situation, because I think we have a pretty good uh, result type of thing. And it's a pretty, it's a little involved, but it's an OK cycle of events. So this is basically the setup that we have um, tube with some kind of with something enticing. So right now we've got um, the cat food that we're no longer using um, that goes into the tip here. And so the theory is gravity, right? So they crawl in through the top. And then when they get to a certain point, they tip the whole thing into the bucket. Today started with pop-ups. Little pop-ups reminding me that it is in fact October. Should I participate in something like this? Should I not participate in something like this? And then that thought evolved into, well, if I do, what are other versions of this out there? And so I ran into the to the following idea of if I were to participate, which one would I have more fun with? Let's do both. <laughs> you acquire them. And so with that, I believe we've gone on long enough. Our greedy little gremlins scamper about and they find a spider. <laughs> How do I make it seem more like a room? Because before it was just sort of there in this dark void. There is no real context as to where they are. I would have loved to have put in a, like a bed frame somewhere, but I already had enough ambiguous sort of shapes going on. And so I spent some time trying to figure that out because... And I know this shouldn't really be important because continuity is like never going to be a thing. But the gray here, it just really bothered me. And so when I finally worked through it and then I realized, oh, there's just one checkbox that I have to click that makes it white again. But yeah, so I only came up with what was going to make the sky exotic. Um, because I wanted a solution for the problem that I had yesterday with the um, flashlight glare sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so then the last sort of phase is to just get them frolicking, get them lit first and foremost, and then just sort of wrap everything up. It's been a long day, kind of tired, and I'm also like sort of panicking that I've only got like a few minutes to like do all of this stuff and upload. Um, but that's panic for you, right? So I misremembered binoculars as being telescope. But um, yeah, I don't think as far as the prompt goes, I think this one was pretty weak for me at least because... Um, the binoculars are really small and the face paint is like there, but it's faint. So here are the rendered results. And that's the recap. The videos can be seen in their full length and full context over here. Tyler in progress.